Hello everyone, hope you're having a fantastic Monday so far and welcome to the Waiver Wire Show, your weekly information on one undrafted Pokemon and their potential usage in a draft league format. I'm your host Trumpful and I'm sorry in advance if this video seems a little bit rushed or is a little bit shorter, I don't really have that much time this week. In fact, by the time you're watching this, I'm probably out breaking my bones trying to go down a mountain in 120 km an hour. It's break time here in Sweden, it's negative 10 degrees cold, I'm probably out skiing on some mountains, so there you go, a little bit of personal knowledge about me. But it's time to see which Pokemon you guys thought deserved the honor to be covering this show, so let's have a look at the results. And it looks like the stuffed monstrosity Beware came out on top, so that's who we are talking about today. Okay, so Beware stats are like a movie series. The first two are decently good and the rest aren't that spectacular. Beware has a HP stat at 125, a good attack stat at 125 as well, a decent defensive stat at 80 and 60, special attack is absolute garbage and a pretty low speed stat at base 60. I'm starting to think that this trend of having slow Pokemon on this show will continue. But at least we're moving in the right direction and covering faster and faster mons, right? By the time of playoffs we should be able to cover something at at least base 90 speed. Beware is a normal and fighting type. Personally I don't really see why it's a fighting type but that's besides the point. Normal and fighting is a pretty good offensive typing since it's walled by ghosts but apart from that everything hits at least neutrally. Defensive wise, normal and fighting is nothing too spectacular. Normal as it is, is not the best defensive typing, sure it's immune against ghost types, but other than that, everything is neutral. I'll give the normal and fighting defensive typing a 5 out of 10, at best. But what stands out for Beware? Why do I think it could fit on a draft team? Beware has access to 3 different abilities, and one outshines the rest, which is the ability Fluffy. I still can't believe that Game Freak actually named the ability Fluffy, but it's really really good competitive wise. If you know the concept of having the ability Fur Coat, you will get hang of this new ability very quickly. Fluffy holds the damage from physical damage that makes contact, which makes this bear very bulky on the physical side coupled with that high HP stat. This helps Beware out with primarily one of its weaknesses, which is fighting types. Fighting types usually wants to hit from the physical side, which doesn't really even bother Beware, since it's so fluffy and adorable. We have already touched on this fluffy subject a bit, but Beware has great bulk. The HP stat is high and the defense isn't too low. This makes Beware very versatile when it comes to team building, since Beware can easily be EV to take multiple hits. It's basically customized a teddy bear to your own liking in a nutshell. Now, Beware has a surprisingly good move pool for being a Pokemon that comes from Alola. It has a lot of options when it comes to its physical move pool. Everything from Hammer Arm to Earthquake to Dragon Claw. Dragon Claw. Really? Now, every Pokemon has their cons, and depending on how big these cons are, will directly evaluate how good these Pokemon are in the competitive seat. Unfortunately for our beer friend here, its cons are apparently big enough for coaches not to draft him. Now let's just get the first con out of the way. It's speed stats. It's bad. I'm sorry. It's not as terrible as Arachnid and Guzzlords, but even though it's faster, it's not good enough. You'll see yourself getting outsped a lot of times, which might make you lean away from these offensive items and go for more passive items such as leftovers or assault vests to take the faster attacks. By doing so, you will not be able to use its high attack stat to its full potential. Con number two is that Beware actually has a lot of weaknesses for being a normal type. This is because stacked on all the weaknesses that the fighting types gives it, fire types gets added. Why you may ask? It's actually because of the ability Fluffy. While giving a Beware a solid answer to physical attacks, it becomes vulnerable to fire type attacks. Kinda weird in my opinion, but nothing you can do about it. This gives Beware a fair share of weaknesses, which becomes deadly on the special side since Fluffy doesn't cover for these attacks. Now I actually put Predictable as the last con. 
Beware has a great move pole, but you know that its damage potential comes from the physical suck. Beware also lacks the options in the support move department, as the best support move it gets is taunt. While Beware can strike you with a lot, you will see it coming and you will be able to prepare for it. As soon as the item that Beware is holding gets revealed, there shouldn't be any more surprises coming from it, which is a problem in the draft league format. Or so people think, maybe I can flick with my wand and create some other way to use Beware. Only way to find that out is by hopping right into Pokemon Showdown, so that's what we will do. The first sample set is your genuine Beware set, the physically offensive set. The item is a choice band for more offensive presence or an assault vest to take more hits better from the special side. The moves are Return and Superpower for Stab, Earthquake for Coverage and Shadow Claw to shut these ghost types down. The main way to use this set is just to throw out as many attacks as possible before you go down. This is not going to be your primary sweeper, more so as a wall breaker or an annoyance to your opponent, keeping them on their toes. The EVs are up to you, but for this sample set I just put max HP and max attack to maximize bulk and offensive presence at the same time with an adamant nature. I put the remaining 4 in special defense just to maybe take one more special attack. Okay, so the next set is a bulk up set, which takes advantage of Beware's natural bulk and raises it through the roof. The moveset is bulk up, substitute, dual stab with return and brick break. Why Brick Break you may ask? Well, it's actually the most suitable fighting type move on this set in my opinion. Other options is Hammer Arm, which lowers your speed and that isn't really something you want, and Super Power which drops your attack which is even worse. So Brick Break it is. Substitute is to avoid status conditions and to get a cleaner setup against passive mods. Item is a leftovers just to regain some health. Now, I usually don't make customized EV spreads for sample sets, but I just want to show that you actually could speed creep with Beware. This speed is to creep a no speed invested base Eremon such as a Togekiss. The rest was put into HP and special defense, which should be where you put the remaining EVs. Attack and defense will be raised by the bulk up, so unless you want to create your own customized EV spreads, to maybe pick up a clutch to it KO with the correct EVs in attack, you should just stick with the sample. The third and final sample set is a bulky bear, which is a set that you should use if you are looking for something that will make your opponent's day miserable. This set is summed up in one word, which is cancer. The moves are pain split, toxic, roar and return which is supposed to function as a physically defensive wall, with toxic and return that constantly chip away your opponent's health and regain your own with pain splits. The main problem with this set is that it actually could be set a father for many sweepers, therefore it carries roar. The item is a leftover, since you want to stay healthy at all time. EVs are pretty simple, just maxing HP and defense just to maximize your bulk and render physical attacks completely useless. So on we go to this week's build set and oh boy is it a weird one. Now since beware is a pun of the words be aware, I had to create something or some sort of set that I could utilize the move Hyper Beam. Of course this is because Hyper Beam is one of the strongest attacks that you definitely have to be aware of. The set is based around the move Workup that raises your attack and your special attack. This means that you can still strike with physical attacks and do massive damage with them and have a boosted hyper beam as an option. The other moves are return and hammer arm, both strong attacks that hits really really hard after a workup boost. And on top of this you have the life for which boosts the damage output even further. The EVs are max in special attack to maximize hyper beams damage, a lot of attack investments and the rest in bulk with a quiet nature. Since you don't really want to lower either of your attack stats, you should probably put a speed reduction nature as I did. This is why I put hammer arm in the move set, since speed isn't something that you're really worrying about with this set. This is how the set is supposed to function. Beware gets sent out. Your opponent switches in their physical wall while Beware goes for a workup. Beware takes the attack due to its natural bulk and makes the physical wall explode with a hyper beam. 
Just to clarify this, I have a Calgary Beware versus a Fiscally Defensive Landers, and it just dies. It vanishes. Build sets are of course not meant to be brought every battle, but once or twice might do some magic. Don't try these at home, especially if you're underage. And that's going to wrap up this edition of the Waver Wire Show. Now, if you want to be a part of the decision of next week's featured Pokemon, there's a link in the description down below that will guide you to a straw poll. The options for next week is Swampert, Flygon, Asalgor, Gastrodon, Tauros, Jellicent and Mawile. If you know any Pokemon that wasn't drafted that you want to see on this show, leave them down in the comments below. But now it's time for me to continue and enjoy my holiday break, even though this is obviously pre-recorded, and bring this edition of the Wavy Wire show to an end. Thank you for tuning in, I've been your host Stromfer, and I'll see you all next week at the same time. Goodbye.